everything is still flowing in here, but I think this pond has been poisoned indefinitely. And unfortunately, those fish were killed by evil berries. Ew. Oh, see? And all Ew. the toxins get in here and ruin the water parameters, and that's no bueno. There's just, it's a graveyard. This is so sad. All my babies are dead. Like, every single crayfish I have ever made, like, everything is dead. <gasps> Wait! Joey Slam. What up, Slayers? We're back at it with another Slay Venture, and today is a bad day. You know why? Because there's been a murder in the house. Something has ended all of my crayfish's lives. Yes. Come over here. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Now, there was a situation where a whole bunch of weird berries fell into Raw Fishing's pond, poisoned his entire pond, and unfortunately, there were several casualties his big old bass jaws actually one of the big i think shampoo also which actually was a fish i caught with my friend sebastian fl bassmaster a long time ago and unfortunately those fish may they rest in peace were killed by evil berries moving forward guys let me let me come close oh my gosh come close. let me berries. go ahead and show you what's going on berries do you see this they're weird nipple looking like berries and it's disgusting. I don't know what type of nipples you be looking at. Hey, boy. I don't know what you got to say, but you just keep your mouth shut, look, all right? right? But here. look, oh, you have some here. Now, these things, I believe, are a form of guava. I'm not too sure. My my parents are from a foreign place, a.k.a. Puerto Rico, which is not really that foreign. But my dad planted a lot of things. And I'm very thankful that I didn't build my ponds here because if I built my ponds here, then everything would have died. They're, they're very seasonal. My parents like to eat them, and I don't. But if I go ahead and this one's not ripe here, let's get into the light for a second. This is not ripe. This one's green. See, these are green berries. And when they're ready to go, see, they're not ripe and they're sour. And here are the seeds. Now, if we look inside of the crayfish pond, I don't know if you guys can see. I know it's very tough, but there's carcasses in here. So as you can see here as well, there's some berries on top of the tub. And everything is still flowing in here, but I think this pond has been poisoned indefinitely. Now what we have to do is see if there's any survivors. I hope there are survivors, but I don't think that's the case. I don't think there are any survivors at all in here. I'm checking inside. This is all covered in that berry goo. There's not a single survivor at all. This is so sad. All my babies are dead. Is there anyone in here? Housekeeping? There's nothing in here, as you can see, but those berry seeds. Man, berry poisoned my pond and killed absolutely everything, guys. Like, look at them. It's a whole bunch of berries. They're really gross. They even clogged my filter. Now I'm gonna go ahead and have to probably clean the filter and try to recycle it again, which shouldn't be a problem at all whatsoever because that's really easy. Because I'll just use other media and just cycle it. I have several canister filters actually ready to go, but I'm looking around guys and I don't see a single soul. There's just, it's a graveyard. It's just a, a graveyard. Look, oh my gosh, look at this too. I guess the poison berries got the beetles too. These are all dead beetles too, right here. I guess they wanted to eat. Oh, there's a bunch. There's some that are alive still. We'll save you, be free. <laughs> but but yeah guys, there's, there's not much else. Wait, wait. I see some stuff around. There's still hope to find maybe some crayfish. I think, is that a claw? Oh my gosh, that's a claw. Look right down there. Oh my no. God. That's all we got, guys. Nothing but a wet sleeve and a claw. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Let's see if anyone's home. Housekeeping? Oh, there's nothing but hope inside of this container as well dude i don't even know what to say but um this is done this thing is freaking toast guys it's toast sorry for the for this it's toast but uh but guys i'm gonna go ahead and rummage through this whole sand remove all these stupid berries that ruin our lives like here's a red one and if i oh ew ew ew, ew. ew. listen 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 ew. Uh, see and all the ew. toxins get in here and ruin the water parameters and that's no bueno but uh, like I was saying, we're gonna just empty out this entire thing. These, bro, 
These things are kicking Timmy and I's butt. We gotta get out of here, boy. We're gonna, we're gonna drain this pond right now. Oh my God, guys, look. Look in the corner all the way over there. All the way in that corner. Zoom into the corner right oh, there. Oh yeah. You see something right there? Guys, there is hope. I think that's a lone survivor. Is that a blue one? Yeah. Dude, we gotta figure something out. Let's see if we can catch that right now. Guys, if you look right here, these are legs from one of my old crayfish. This is a body that is decomposed from one of my crayfish. Man, these poison berries, look at them. There's so many have ruined my pond, Timmy. It's so silly. I can't believe it. I guess they tried to eat them as well, and it was just no bueno. But, guys, that's proof. Again, proof. I still can't believe there's a survivor. Like, here's another baby. There's another one right here. Oh, my God, another baby. So I'm going to look around, move things around, and see if there's any more survivors. But we saw a blue one. This guy's doing a good job hiding. We will find you, my child. We will find you. Go ahead and see if there's anything hiding over here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look, 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 look. Look, 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 look. Guys. One freaking survivor, guys. He's so brew. He's so brew. Oh my goodness gracious. Can it be? Let go. Let go. Look at that. He's vicious, he's angry, ow! He's so blue, and he's gorgeous. Look at that. So I'm very excited to have another blue crayfish because he's one of my only survivors. And is he a male? We always check the undercarriage nowadays, and ha! That is a male. Perfect. I think I have something I can breed it with. Maybe one of my white crayfish that I still have babies with. Cause I actually still have all my white crayfish babies. So you know what I'm gonna do? We're probably gonna try to set something up today with them. Get some water, fall in my friend, survive. I mean, maybe we shouldn't get that water cause it's toxic. <laughs> I don't know, but I want them to stay wet. So um, I'll go ahead and scoop up some water right now. Stupid leaf, I'm gonna scoop up some water right now from the lake. All right Slayer, so we went ahead and got the water. Our guy is right there, he looks so good. Look at this beautiful human being. Was well, not a human, but he's a human to us. My human little crayfish. I love you, child. I'm glad you survived. Only the strong survives here on this channel. So sorry to say, Tim, you ain't gonna make it that much longer. <laughs> no, I'm just joking, guys. But with the baby crayfish, we went ahead and released those because those are Florida crayfish. So I just released them back into our Florida ecosystem. So that's okay. But it's time to do something with the bad stuff. Ow! And do something cool. It's time to. Fail. This is this is really heavy, Tim. You got this, Joey. <sighs> I might need your help. Put him in the camera, man. Here we go. I think I got the strength now. This thing is so heavy. It's in the worst position in the world. Look at the hole I've created. There we go. Any bodies? <laughs> Any crayfish bodies? A lot of mud. It's a lot of mud. It's just sand. All right, sweet guy. Well, we're gonna go ahead and clean this thing up, guys. I'm gonna head to Beverly's because I have a nice little surprise. Ow! We're gonna, a nice little surprise for you guys. But before we head to Beverly's, let's go ahead and check out on our babies. Look at our white crayfish babies. These are the only crayfish I have now besides that blue one. They're not doing so bad at all. Oh, hello, anyone? Is anyone around? Oh, there's a big one over there. Cool. So once I go ahead and set something up at my house, we're gonna go ahead and take this beautiful crayfish babies home. Doing good? Let's go ahead and feed them something. Hold on one second. Got my little shrimp cuisine. Setting it down the hatch right now. Look, they come out immediately. Oh, this one loses it. Oh yeah, they all come out. We had more and stuff, but you know how it is. Crayfish get very territorial and cannibalistic and doesn't really work out. But they're doing good here. Look at them eat. Good job, my friends. Eat up. Eat up and grow. Because I need you to go ahead and make me more white crayfish babies. So, Slayers, as you guys can see, and if you watch my videos, oh god, I almost dropped you guys. I'm here at Beverly's Pet Center looking for that 32 gallon flex because even though we didn't hit a thousand comments, which I can't believe we didn't hit a thousand comments, guys. Like, I know you guys can do it. There's plenty of you, there's almost 400,000 of you. A thousand comments is not much to ask. Anyways, I took your advice and I'm going to go ahead and get that 32 gallon flex. So I'm gonna order that and it should be shipped to my house. Guys, comment below what should go inside 
of that tank okay guys so with that being said we're gonna head home we still gotta go ahead and put that blue crayfish that survived in a brand new home all right check it out guys we got back to the slate pad and we have a nice home here ready to go for our survivor our survivor from those poison berries look at him right there so what we're gonna go ahead and do is actually add him he's so blue right Sam? yeah he's crazy blue it's absolutely insane can't believe how blue he was and he survived i was concerned for him so he's a male, he's gonna be good to go. Maybe we get lucky in the future and maybe we'll do a fish trap or something where we can go ahead and get a whole bunch of females or some other types of crayfish and have them mate again and start the cycle having a whole bunch of crayfish. So we're gonna take you out, buddy. Oh, we're gonna take you out. Look at him. Look how vicious he is. Ah! Oh! Oh! It's not that bad since the claws aren't so big. But yeah, guys, check it out. Oh, my hand. I don't know how you guys can see. Let me see if I can get that light for you guys. That's a little bit better. But look at him, he's just pinching my hands, holding on for dear life. And once he lets go, I can actually add him. Let's see, let go. Whee! There he is, guys. So in the comments below, go ahead and name him. We usually name all our blue crayfish, very simple, blue. But if you have any other suggestions, I'll go ahead and take them. And I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Booyah. <laughs>